Peace of Christ to all of you. Intelligence is a gift, but not everybody have it, especially if you are a person who claim to be a prophet and you think you can fool everybody. And that is Satan himself. Satan, he think he is really smart and he can fool everybody. But for sure, that is not true. This is a man, his name is Muhammad. The Muslim, they claim he is a prophet of God. He has zero miracles and the Quran witness for that. And here he is telling us how his God, he created the earth and the heaven. And this is a hadith, which is Muslim cannot deny. This is Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2789. If you read this hadith in Arabic or in English, depend in the language you like or you know, if you count with me the days, how many Allah took him to create the earth and the heaven, you will see that Muhammad, he started from Saturday, as we see here. And then the last day of the creation was a Friday afternoon. If we count Saturday to Friday, that will be seven days. Now, we can let it go, okay, you know, in Islam it says seven days, well, you know, okay, seven days. But if you go in the Quran, you will find that Muhammad, he mentioned that all over the Quran, many places, it says six days. Chapter 7, verse number 54, chapter 10, verse number 3, chapter 11, verse number 7, chapter 25, verse number 59, etc. As you see, they are highlighted for you. So all those verses saying that Allah, he created the earth and the heaven in six days. Everything in earth, everything in heaven in six days. It's clear. So the hadith of Muhammad is a lie. When I say is a lie, that's mean Muhammad, he is a liar. He could not repeat the same lie twice. So he started counting days. He started from Friday. And obviously he's inspired by Allah, by the way, because this is showing us what kind of God he is sponsoring Muhammad. If Muhammad says in the Quran 6 and Muhammad say in the Hadith, it is seven days. And not only that, if we go to different verses in the Quran, we will find that the Quran says in different verses that Allah created the earth and the heaven in eight days. The verse here says, would you deny the one who created the earth in two days? The verse is so clear. Created the earth in two days. Then he created everything in the top of the earth in four days. This is chapter 41, verse number 9 and verse number 10. And then after that, and here translation is a lie, in Arabic it says, thumma. If you change the translator right away, you will see how they lie in the translation. Thumma mean a long period after, not right away. And actually there's a Muslim who teach Arabic, he exposed them. He's a sheikh. He explained that thumma, thumma is not for something happened right away. It is something take time. Let us see another, another liar. Uh, see here, they translate, then he turned to heaven and he made, and the heaven was a smoke and he finished the heaven in two days. So two days for the sky, four days for making things in the top of the earth. The Muslim, they try to make it to fix it. They say, no, no, no. He is saying four days, including the first two days, Abdul. He said it clearly, he created the earth in two days. The earth in two days as a solid object. Now he is working in the top of the earth in four days. He is not talking about creating the earth no more. He is talking about creating everything in the top of the earth. And then after he finished from the earth, then he turned to the heaven and the heaven was a smoke. If you read Ibn Kathir, he would say that smoke was uh, because the heaven was nothing and the smoke was coming from the earth because Allah was doing the cooking, supposedly. So now look what happened. One verse, chapter 41, verse number 9, 10, 11, says the earth and the heaven are created in eight days. We go to other verses in the Quran, and there's many of them. It says that Allah, he created the earth and the heaven in six days. We go to the hadith of Muhammad, and this is authentic Sahih Muslim, as you see. 
He says that the earth created in eight days. If you are listening to somebody and he is speaking about the creation of his God, he's not talking about his life, his age, uh, a story happened to him long time ago. You know, all of us, we can forget, no problem. But this person, the Muslim, they claim, even the Quran claim that Allah, he inspire him. And Allah, he protect him. And Muhammad will not invent anything Allah did not say. So, eight days, seven days here in this hadith, as you see, start on Saturday, end in Friday. The same goes here, six days. This is chapter 25, verse number 59. It's clear saying six days. And then if we go to other verse in the Quran, chapter 41, it says it clearly he created everything in the earth in two days verse number nine four days everything in the top of the earth two days to create the sky total is eight days so muhammadan is it four is it sorry six is it seven or it is eight and remember the quran says if this book is made by other than allah you will find in it a lot of contradiction brother Hmm? Who's, who said this rule? Allah. So the Muslim cannot now say, uh, we don't accept it. Allah, he said it. Was Allah wrong when he put this uh, condition? Chapter 4, verse number 82. And actually this condition, again, is proving to us that Allah is a stupid. If you remember the interview with Mimi Hijab, and uh, Borat, Muhammad uh, Mihijab, he recited this verse for him. Borat, he said to him, I have a yellow pages book made in Arabic, have zero contradiction. Is that made by Allah? So here you see the low IQ of the stupidity because now anyone who make a book have zero contradiction is Allah. In other way, he's God. This is how low IQ the fabricator of this religion. So six days, seven days, eight days. And if this book is other than made by other than Allah brother, you will find a lot of contradiction. Don't forget to share with your friends, make your comment and give it a like. And if you don't like it, give it this like. Otherwise, I will send you vacation. Some of you six days, some of you seven days, and some of you eight days. Mash, smash Allah. Must be a true prophet, and this is a true God, and this is his logic. Thank you very much, and don't laugh, because things can happen. You know the thing.